Hey! Everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV once again. Uh, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. What? Drink that. We're drinking water, everybody. Remember to drink water, okay? Every day when you wake up, take a sip of water. Whoa, look where I'm. Uh, strobe da. It's a strobe. Or so we're doing the strobe effect. Maybe we should do the ghost thing. You want to do the ghost thing? Uh, let's see, like this. We can, because it's, it's scary month today. You know about Scary Month? Like this. Well, here, here, here's how we do the uh, the the thing. We go over here. Go over here. We're gonna do the. We're gonna be ghosts today. Did you go? Wait, all the way. You can still see ya. All right, all right. Now we go back. Now we're going back. And here we come. You want to? Okay, now we're gonna chant. Do a chant. A little chant. This is how you say. You say, "Harukumanama." I summon the ghosts from beyond. Oh, look, we're ghosts. I summoned. Uh, I've summoned myself here. So now we're ghosts, cause it's scary month. Woo! Have you been a ghost before? You can see. Never been a ghost. Never been a ghost until now. Uh, you know, I say we're alive, but are we alive? Yeah, we're alive. We're just doing ghosts. We're video effects ghosts. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, like that SpongeBob episode. Which one? Where they're ghosts. They run around. The ghosts pulling their pants down. Whoa! They 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 they're uh, they're alive, but they're ghosts. Mm -hmm. And then what? What do they do? They run around and pull their pants down. Their their own pants? Uh huh. Why why are they why? Just to mess with people. Because they can't because they can't see them. Yeah, they go into stores and they pull their pants down. Like, Whoa! <laughs> but they can't see. Are they go actually ghosts or? Yeah, they like actually ghosts. Like nobody else can see them. Hmm. Why do they want to pull their pants down? No, because it's stupid. Kids shows. But they're like, they they secretly want to pull their pants down, but they but they don't want to get caught. Yeah. But so they're they're doing it. They got some weird obsessions with pants. Well, he's got pants. Yeah. Square pants. Mm -hmm. His pants come off, and then he's got a shirt too. No, dude, it's just a one onesie. It's a onesie, but it's got a shirt on it, right? Yeah, but it's a onesie. But it's like pants, his pants are in the shirt. Yeah. They're part of the shirt. Yeah. Where's the food? It's in the bag. Where's the bag? Mm -hmm. Right there. Are you drinking water? Yeah. How much water did you drink today? Like, I'm balancing in the mouth. How much water did you drink today? Not that much. Not that much? Probably I've only had like... I say two other ones of these. You're supposed to drink Three, six, six four. of those. I think I'm, I'm about four, you know. That's pretty good. We're supposed to drink six of them. Six bottles a day. It's a lot. It's like a lot, but uh, it's more than, like, seems like it should be, like, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be that much. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you were here? Um, I don't know. You have talking to your mic. Maybe like Monday, but today, what day is it? Today is it wasn't yesterday, Tuesday. So it wasn't yesterday. So maybe it was Saturday. I think it might have been Saturday. Yeah. You see anything out this on the streets? Uh, well, not that great. 
Nothing? Nothing too special. Oh, we got a call. We should call... Uh, Is my, Grandma? Yeah, we should call Grandma before she goes to bed. Bedtime's 11 o'clock. Oh, oops. That's what she... she uh, that's what time she goes to sleep. We got some uh, voicemails. Here we go, calling uh, Grandma first though, before 11 o'clock, because we only have five minutes till. <laughs> Woo, we're ghosts. I'm alive though. What? How can we call if we're ghosts? No. Not really. Here, talk to Grandma. I'm watching TV. Okay. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, I'm watching TV. <laughs> You're watching TV too, so is Andrew. Okay, go ahead, Andrew, here! <laughs> they, they both don't want to talk to me. They, Andrew? They want to watch TV. Grandma, you drinking water? You want TV? <laughs> you drinking water? Huh? Are you drinking water? I drink the water. How many? I don't know. You gotta drink. I, drink, I try to drink it every day. You gotta drink a lot, of, a lot of it. Yeah. yeah, I do. Six, six of them. Okay. I drink the water. Just I don't worry about this. <laughs> You you don't want to be on to you, Andrew. Andrew, you want to? What are you watching? The Jim Jeffries show. What's that? It's like the Daily Show, but different. Is that... You talk. There's a. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's over now. What's up? Your show's over. Yeah. What's is that? The actual Daily Show, uh, like. No, it's it's, just, it's a comedian, but he's got a show, and it's like right before the Daily Show. It's on every t every Tuesday. Yeah. But it's like I don't know. It's weird. It's like the Daily Show, because he's Australian also, so it's also kind of like, uh, like world worldly or whatever, open minded. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's open minded, huh? Yeah. Is the Daily Show still there? Yeah. No, they have, they have that same kind of attitude, you know, because, like, Daily Show, the guy is South African. He's South African, huh? So the worldly, people want to be smart. Yeah. We're like, I'm smart. He's yeah, smart, but Jim Jeffries is funny, though. I like him, but uh, t Trevor Noah's funny, but he's kind of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, he's, got, like, he's got one thing that he kind of does. He's a, he's a one-note guy, a one-note comedian kind of guy. What's he do? Whatever you call it, he he's really good. The way I, the way I describe Trevor Noah is he's just really good at impressions, and that's about it. Who's that? The guy, the the second guy. Trevor Noah is the Daily Show guy. Okay. He got he got famous really fast, kind of. He's like your age. Oh yeah. Maybe younger. Yeah, he, he's kind of. Uh, he might be like 35 or something like that, but he's he just kind of blew up really fast in South Africa, and then he like I read his book. His mom had it. Yeah. He, he's a funny guy, but uh, pretty much his stand-up, his stand-up is just like he just does different impressions. He's really good at impressions what and is, doing voices. And who stuff. does he do? Uh, I don't know. He, he does a lot of different. Uh, he does a lot of different accents. Oh yeah. I don't really remember. I don't really remember. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. He's like a Trump, I guess. Trump? Uh, uh, I'm a, yeah. I'm not. I'm. I'm not a racist. I'm the least. I'm, I'm the least. I'm the least racist person you ever know. Ask anybody. Ask anybody. Yeah. That's my Trump. Uh, there was, there was one that he was uh, talking about how uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, how, how Obama talks a lot like Nelson Mandela. So the whole bit was the whole bit was just Obama talking to Mandela. Yeah. 
and he's, he, he does both. He does both voices really well, so it's really funny because he can do it. I guess. <laughs> ah! Why does Nelson Mandela sound like? Uh, I don't know. Or Nelson Mandela. No. Hey, you want to hear my Nelson Mandela impression? What? You want to hear my Nelson and Mel- Mandela impression? Sure. I I think that there should be peace in South Africa. <laughs> yep. Like pretty good, right? I guess. Yeah, you yeah, don't know. Like Who that's, knows, right? That's what he, that's what he says. Nobody I don't know what he sounds like though. That's that's something that he would say, yeah. Yeah, nobody knows what he sounds like, so that's why <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like. That's why my impression uh, is so good. Uh, Obama sounds like Obama. Uh, hello, I'm Barack Obama. Um, you should vote for me. Barack Obama. I'm, How's that? I'm uh, yeah, uh, he's like Barack Obama. <laughs> the thing hello, about... hello, hello, my name is Barack Obama. Barack, oh that's pretty good, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all Barack Obama does is he kind of he kind of says everything really fast. He says all the syllables really fast with like a like a deep voice. Yeah. Hello, Brock. Brock. Hello, I'm Brock Obama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you can do it too. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. My favorite president now. I think he beat out Carter now. <laughs> hey, I can do it. I can do a Jimmy Carter. I think maybe because I saw it on King of the Hill. And he's uh, like, yeah. oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> I know oh, some Jimmy message. Carter. You, know, uh, <laughs> you should, uh, you should build that house, Bobby, for for Hank. Your father. Your father. Yeah, hey, <laughs> here's your father. You can build a house for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You're gonna be on the Daily Show next. Oh yeah, yeah. You can be on the Daily Show. You can do it. <laughs> uh, I think the, the easiest way to learn how to do impressions is to listen to other people. Don't try and listen to the source. Listen to people making fun of the guy, you know? So what, steal, steal other people's impressions? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I uh, learned. Do impressions yeah. of their impressions. Yeah, I guess but then it is kind of like that, yeah. I thought about that, but then I actually listened to like Dana Carvey on Norm Macdonald, and he says that that's what that's what he does too. Like he found it he found it really uh, valuable to be able to like when, when someone else came out with an impression, it's like it's like they cracked it and they figured out how to do it, so then everyone can do it after that, you know. Then he steals it though. He's stealing it from everybody. He doesn't steal, it, but he's just like like you can do Obama now because I told you how to do Obama, you know. Oh yeah, I could do it yeah, before. You can do it before? I could have done it before. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's because that was really easy to do. Yeah. It's kind of, it's uh, pretty easy to be able to. But that is really, it's like Christopher Walken, you know, you can, you can uh, do the same Walken impression, but it's probably hard, it's hard to master, easy to do. Hard. It's, it's hard. Hard to, to master. Chris, easy Chris to do. do. Huh? Easy to do. Easy to do. Easy to do. Hard to master. Hard to master. I can't do it. It's easy to do. It's easy to do. Hard. Hard to master. To master. Yeah. Hard uh, to you master. Do the, you do the up like that. Uh, it's and easy. Then, and, and then the uh, uh, or really like a lot, you know? It's easy so to do. For walking. But it's hard to master. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then I uh, then they always end up sounding like the uh, shot my shiner and walking always end up sounding the same. I don't know. I just can't do them. Says Spock. There's a <laughs> woman on this planet. <laughs> I'm gonna punch oh, her. Yeah, he's talking, oh, Trevor Noah's talking about Obama right now. Well, that was real. Maybe you can hear it. Oh, he just stopped. Is they do an impression? I don't know, I missed it. I wasn't, I wasn't listening. I never liked those shows. That's why... That's they're, why... They're I, funny, but there's too much, because... Trump is, uh... I yeah. don't know. It's just, it's just kind of annoying after a while, I guess. They're, the, they're like, uh, liberal propaganda. Yeah. And they're jerks, too. All those people are jerks. Yeah, it's fun to watch Fox News. That's basically what Fox News is. 
They're like, you know what? You should uh, get off Kavanaugh's back. Stop bullying him so much. What is Kavanaugh? I don't even know what that is. He's he's the Supreme Court justice nominee. Right. So he's he's like a huge asshole, like sex predator guy. Yeah. And uh, they want to vote him into the highest uh, court in the land, and he's oh. going to be able to. He's going to be able to prosecute, or I mean, he's going to uh, to, to weigh in on the country's most important cases, and he's a sexual predator. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he going to make it? Well, the Republicans want him to, and uh, they're getting told. They're getting told by Fox News. Basically, says, "Get off this guy's back. Stop." Uh, like, I watched it for a second just to see because it's funny. Yeah. They're like, what would you do if you were Kavanaugh? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you get angry too? Because like he got, they they were, uh, like they uh, were questioning him. Like, and uh, they showed his court hearing or whatever on TV. Mm-hmm. And he was just really pissed off. Yeah. And so SNL made fun of that, and everybody made fun of the fact that he was getting really angry. Yeah. And so then Fox News was like, how would you like it if everyone was calling you something that you weren't? Wouldn't you get angry, too? Yeah, I would. But <laughs> I would get mad, I guess. But that's kind of not what the point is, Fox News. No, but yeah, yeah, those shows are so mean, though. I really don't like it when, when all they do, like, all SNL does, like, dress up like the guy and then, like, do his voice. That's, like, so mean to do. It's very mean. <laughs> it's mean, yeah. But the guy's a dick, so it doesn't matter. It's funny. Well, I, you could just say, I think it's better to say, like, that guy is a dick. He shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. Yeah. But instead, but also, instead you said you, like, put on a wig that try to look like the guy, and then you go, Oh, dude, you forgive yeah. me, you forgive yeah, me, you yeah, forgive me. Yeah, yeah, you can, because it's America. It's important to do those kinds of things, because if SNL happened in Russia, um, like, they would just kill... Alex Alden. I think you should just say it. You should just say it. Just be like, say it again, Alec, and then they would shoot him in the face. Why can't you just say, dead. just say, like, I don't like this guy. This guy is a jerk. He's dumb. He's doing dumb things. But, they can like, do whatever they want. It's TV. I mean, they can. They can do it. I just think it's mean, and I don't like to see, like, people dress up like other people and, and then make a <laughs> fake fun of their voice. Then uh, you should go on Twitter and uh, tweet about it, how mean it is. Oh, yeah, I'm not on Twitter. Me neither. This is like Twitter I'm, for I'm me. On, I'm on there, but I don't use it. No, I'm just saying it here. Yeah. Like, oh, look at me. I'm a dumb, I'm dumb dumb. I'm a, I'm a super dumb dumb. You dress up like that, like the guy, and yeah. then... Uh, Kavanaugh should not be uh, on the court. I don't really know much about it, besides the fact that he uh, should not. No. Yeah. I uh, saw some good points today, though. Um, Jim Jeffries actually was talking about it on that show. On, the, on his show, he was talking about how other uh, people who were nominations or whatever for the same position, the same job, uh, they they were uh, they didn't get the job. Uh huh. And they weren't sexual predators or whatever. They were like they got they didn't get the job for less, basically. I forget what they did, but, like, they didn't do very... It doesn't take much to not get the job. Yeah, it, it should be very, very hard to get that job. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. So, but they didn't make it as far as he did? Because he doesn't have the job yet still, right? Yeah, no, he doesn't have the job yet, but he's, like... But they're fighting... The crazy thing is they're fighting for it at all, and they're even still considering it. I don't understand. But the, he got farther than those other people did? I think so, yeah. And Trump still doesn't believe it. Well, what it's is he? Uh, fake news is, as far as he's concerned. is he convicted? No, that's also a thing too, though. So he's not convicted of it. But I, I think, and I think what a lot of people are saying is, if he's even gonna, if that's even gonna be a question, he shouldn't be fired. I mean, he shouldn't have the job. Shouldn't get the job. Well, what? I mean, did he do it? Why do you think he? I, I don't know anything about it, but like, what's going on? Somebody. Well, so, there was some some lady, some lady uh, who like he went to school with or something like that. Uh -huh. Came forward now, 
and said it, but she said it like under oath in the court. What'd she so say? It says that. I don't know what he did. That's not what she said. <laughs> bad, bad things. Bad things. Bad things like sexual harassment type deal. <laughs> bad things, you know, sexual harassment kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think sexual it, harassment kind of stuff. You know, bad, and, bad stuff. He's a bad guy. Yeah. He shouldn't and have done that he stuff. Went, he went on a... <laughs> his testimony was, uh, I love beer. We used to drink a lot of beer. When I was younger, we drank beer, okay? I like beer. I drank a lot of beer. I don't know what could have happened. I love beer. You don't know who... Yeah, he was like a teenager or something, or he was in college? Yeah, I was a teenager. We drank beer. It was legal. I love beer. We were teenagers. What we do, we drink beer. We love beer. Beer, beer, beer. Yeah, well, it's like... It sounds to me like they don't even know... No, like, nobody knows. Everybody's always arguing about stuff that nobody knows, and, and the Supreme Court is fake anyway. Yeah, but uh, why would that lady do it? Basically, that lady was on... She was under oath saying that shit, you know? Yeah, well, maybe it happened. Yeah, exactly. It probably happened, and so... Whether or not he's convicted, maybe he, maybe he doesn't get convicted, but he definitely should not get the job. Well, I mean, it's like statute of limitations has gone away. There's no, there's nothing legal you can do about it, and it's yeah, but very it's legal. Yeah, but, but it's, uh, uh, we, we uncovered, uncovered this man's moral character. Yeah. And it turns out he's a piece of shit, so he shouldn't be on the, whatchamacallit, he shouldn't be on the judges. Yeah. But what is he, what's he been doing since then? I guess he's a judge. I think he's, he's Judge Kavanaugh, so I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't, he's I don't already know. a judge. Yeah. Maybe he saved... What if he spent the last, like, 50 years or whatever since he... He's probably old, right? Yeah, it's the 80s. So he's like dad's age. Seven. He's, Maybe he's younger. Maybe he's, like, 50s. I don't know. 50s? He's supposed to be old, but, um... He's gotta be old, but what if he, we're talking about stuff that happened to him in the 80s in college. What if he, what if he spent the last 20 years saving uh, children and uh, puppies? Um, he's still a rapist. <laughs> yeah, what, is, was, he, was he though? I mean, what did, he, what did he even do? It was like, that's a... Yeah, probably not rape. Probably like, much less than rape. Uh, who knows? But maybe, maybe it was rape, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> Kavanaugh, whatever. Kavanaugh, rapist? Question mark? Yeah. Is he a rapist? Uh, <laughs> some people say bad stuff, but uh, all those guys, all those like rich white guys are rapists. Yeah. Anyway, hey, you're so. Finally, you're finally going to go viral with your opinions on how we're bullying Trump. Oh, we're bullying Trump? I like Trump on that show. I watched that show, The Apprentice. You ever, see the, you ever see The Apprentice? <laughs> yeah. It's a good show. Okay. I was a big fan of him on TV before he was the president. Yeah, now he was the president, and he's very senile. Yeah, he's a crazy person. Uh, that's why he's good on yeah. TV. But the I remember before he was the president, when, when Carl was here, Carl was very upset about him being the president and stuff. And I always I always th said that he's going to make for great television, that's for sure, so... Well, yeah, but that's it's like Batman. No, 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 the opposite. Not the one you deserve, but the one you need. Actually, he's none of those things, but he's, he's funny on TV. He's like the opposite of Batman. <laughs> yeah, he's like the opposite. You don't, you don't want him, and you don't deserve him, but here you go. Here he is. We deserve, <laughs> we deserve him. <laughs> I, I think it was just like I don't know if you want this or deserve this, but Donald Trump. It's like people who are doing good stuff. If you're doing good stuff, you never get uh, hassled. It's like uh, you know, if you go to you write a uh, review for a restaurant, and you're never gonna write a bat or a good review. Who's gonna be, Who's gonna be like, hey, this place was great? Guy Fieri. He's an American hero. Yeah, people always say, people only say that stuff is bad if they're in the yeah. public, though, like strangers, you know, they only say this stuff is yeah. real bad. There's a, there's a really funny bit on Conan. 
Yeah. Uh, this, this comedian was on Conan. Uh, his name is Shane Torres. I think uh, I'll, I'll say his name so I can so I can talk about his bit, not steal it. Um, comedy bits. What? Comedy bits. Comedy bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, uh, you know what? I don't understand uh, why everyone is picking on Guy Fieri. Mm-hmm. And then he went on for five minutes about uh, like he had a one joke thing for his whole set. It was about why he doesn't understand why people make fun of Guy. It was really, really funny. Why he's great? Yeah, he's like, uh, what does he say? He's like, just because he looks like he's drinking Mountain Dew and got electrocuted. No, it's just because he looks like he got electrocuted while drinking Mountain Dew. People shit all over him. (laughs) That was one of the things he said. I don't like that. You like that? I don't like that. You don't think that's funny? No. <laughs> okay. Maybe you're not doing gonna, it well. Yeah, I'm not doing it well, but... I like him, though. I like Guy Fieri. Yeah. Uh, he's good for television. Oh, he, he's a he's a big show, and he's very popular. Yeah. Like, even if he's, uh... People are saying they don't like him. He's very popular. I think he is pretty popular, and I don't know. He seems like one of those guys to be, like, an asshole... Not on TV or something? Yeah, maybe, but I think he's, uh... <laughs> I don't know, he's probably all right. No, he's I think he's uh, right. probably, like, a regular, <laughs> like, a uh, dude. Like, the cameras go off and he's just like, hey, fucking, that's my food, I don't know. Where's my Danish? Yeah, where's my fucking Danish? I don't know now. This is... Wait, buddy, but we're at a restaurant. You're, you're eating on camera. I don't fucking care. He... The camera's turned off, and then he spits the food in the guy's face. And he's like, your yeah. food is shit! Yeah. Your food sucks. Your yeah. food made me want to vomit. <laughs> I'm in vomit town. That's what he's going to say. I'm in vomit town. I feel like I'm in vomit town now, not flavor town like I said before. But vomit town. I'm in lack of flavor town. Your yeah. food your food lacks seasoning. <laughs> And then, then they're like, oh, guy, we're rolling again. He's like, oh, 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 we're back. We're back. We're back. You're in, back in Flavortown. We're <laughs> back in Flavortown. Yeah. And then, hey. And, then, and he turns, and then the camera trophy says, I think this food could use a hint of acid. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I don't want to feel my tongue anymore after that. You don't want to feel his Never tongue. again. Yeah. Guy Fieri, <laughs> he's good. He was in town. He went to the fishtail. <clears throat> yeah, in Darby's. Yeah. Fish I think tail. Darby's fish is gone now. Darby's is gone. Yeah. But what do they even have? They they serve something at Darby's that I don't even think they normally serve, so I don't that show is false anyway. <laughs> I forgot. They, they had some kind of, like, dessert breakfast deal, wasn't it? Yeah, some, some kind of, yeah, blueberry breakfast. Yeah. <clears throat> it looked okay. I don't know. It looked just fine, yeah. What are you watching now? The Daily Show? The Daily Show's on right now. With that guy? Yeah, now Lewis Black is on yelling about shit. Oh, he's st- Lewis Black is still there? I guess so. He's been there. He, he got since... grandfathered in or whatever. <laughs> he's been there since 2000. Where's yeah. Where's John Stewart? He pops up randomly on Colbert's show sometimes. And then he like... He's got a beard. They all get he... a beard. Yeah, he talks about how, uh... Oh, shit, Conan's on. I forgot about Conan. Conan's on at 11 now? Yeah, Conan's on from 11 to noon. Or not noon. 11, he's on for 13 hours a day. They, they, they move. he moved, he's not at 11.30 anymore? No, I don't know why. I don't know how long it's been like that, but yeah. He's, Conan's definitely one of my favorite shows on TV right now. I haven't seen the new Conan, but... That's a ver- that's a bo- that's a bold move to move. He's like trying to like usurp the viewers before the other people can do it. So yeah, then you're. I think it's because he wants people to watch the Tonight Show or something like that. Like one of his uh, one of his arguments why he's so mad about leaving and all that shit was because they're trying to change the time, the time slot. Mm. Tonight Show because something like Leno or whatever. They're trying to get Leno Leno time. Because his, uh, cause his Tonight Show, Conan's Tonight Show was dropping in the ratings. 
What happened? They moved Leno to 10? Yeah, so Leno left. Conan took his job. Yeah. And then, and then some NBC people decided to put Leno on, like, give him, like, a half an hour show at, like, 11 or something like that. Mm, oh, at 11? And then, and then yeah, some, some, something happened with ratings. Like, he was doing better than Conan or, or something like that. I don't know. So then they wanted to bump Conan to midnight and then him at 11.30, I think. Mm. Mm. And then Conan's like, Conan's like, no, you can't do that. Uh, tonight's show is sacred. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Do you, what do you think? About the Tonight Show? I don't know. It sucks now. Jimmy, what's his name? Jimmy, uh... Yeah, Jimmy Fallon is stupid. Jimmy's, uh, clown. Clown yeah. McClowney. That's why we're... This is, this is the Tonight Show. No. You've been on longer. You've been on longer than Jimmy. Yeah. But, but not as long as Conan. Conan's been on for, like... 25 years or something. Yeah, Conan probably has more hours than me on TV. Um, still, be, though, I don't know. Even though it's only five days a week and not all the time. But, yeah, uh, not all the time. Watch it, yeah. So, so 52, 52 times 5 is like 260 or something. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're in direct competition with those shows sometimes. Or probably actually. Does. I, I used to think about it a lot more back in the old days. I used to always be like, this is the, is like those shows. That's why I used to kind of pretend that this show was tho those shows. Yeah. Like, like we're, but we are still. We'll be on in 10 minutes, those shows you're talking about. We're still in, in, in this show, we're still in competition with them, and this is, don't watch those shows. got to watch this show. Yeah. But, uh, Conan probably does like, or, like 200 and like 20 shows maybe a year. That m that many? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I just I just did some quick math. Somewhere yeah. around 200, something like that. Well, if he does 200 shows a year for 25 years, that's uh, 50,000, right? Is that 50,000? 5,000. No. 5,000. 5, that's 5,000 <laughs> if, if he's been doing that, and I'm only on uh, not even 3,000 yet. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. So he's probably ahead of me. On the low end, too, yeah, because it was like, I just, it's a 260 for 52 weeks, but then he doesn't do every week, so it's probably like 200. 200 a year? Yeah. On but the low still, end. for like 20, 200 a year for 20 years, conservatively, that's yeah, yeah. four. Those are low numbers. That's 4,000, right? Yeah, so he probably did five at least. Yeah. 5,000 episodes. We're only almost going to be on 3,000. Coming up in, I think, December, we're going to be on 3,000. <coughs> Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to record a message to the future. All right. I'm setting it up. i got to set it up, though. i got to queue it up. What would you eat for dinner? Um, hey, have you had uh, pumpkin pie from McDonald's? I've had it, yeah. That's, that's what I had. You had a pumpkin pie from McDonald's? Yeah, and, and uh, a Mick Gang Bang, but I didn't put them together. I ate them separately. Oh, yeah, what grandma eat? I don't know. You don't know? You were here? No. Nope. I don't like <clears> that <throat> pumpkin pie is, is not the best at McDonald's. It's okay. It tastes like, it tastes like that's pumpkin pie, so I got um, it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was enough for me. It was a little chalky. A little ch ch gummy. What? Is it a little gummy, a little chalky, kind of? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Actually, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah? Maybe they made it better. Maybe. I got I got one apple and one pumpkin, and now I'm good at my pie fix. I got it. All I right got here. the pie fix. Hey, future, it's us of the past. Hey, future, how many days in the future are you? We're probably like... 500 days in the past. It's Tuesday. It's October. Okay, bye, future. <clears throat> uh, okay, bye. Bye-bye. That was Andrew. On the phone. Kayla's asleep. You fall asleep? Nighttime. Huh? What? Sleeping? 
I'm asleep. You having a dream? Yeah, I was dreaming about... Uh, last night, I was sitting on the couch with my cat, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And I was looking at my cat, and then her eyeballs sometimes will stay open when she's sleeping. Yeah. And then she starts to, like, you know, like, meow a lot. Yeah. And then she, like... I've never seen her do this before. She, like, twitched really heavy, and then she, like, meowed really, like, like she was, like, scared. She was, like, meow! Whoa. Like, really scared. And then she, like, jumped up. And huh. she, like, ran. And then she, like, looked like she was really scared, you know, and she came and sat on my lap. Yeah. I had my eyes closed, and then I was thinking about that. I was thinking about my cat. It's us, the past. You're on a new tape here. We're on a new um, message to the future tape. We pull up an entire message to the future. The beginning of the tape is on Monday, and we're looking at that old tape again. And I'm writing the day on this one so that we'll know the yeah, future and setting up systems and living life. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what day was that? Uh, it's us in the past. Look, it's Tuesday, and it's the second day of the new tape. Tuesday. We're looking at the old tape a little bit, and we're going to blank out the rest of this one so that we what? have those days on there. Remember last year, we had things going. Oh, I was looking at January, though, so it's a good day. It's perfect weather. It's the fall, and you know that. You're living life. You're living your own life. I'm living my own life. Bye, future. Bye. Sure, it's us, the past. Right back. I put that thing on that tape. You see the dogs? What dogs? Uh, Bill Oldman died today. Uh oh. Recently. Bad news. We're looking at the other tape still. Look at the calls, living the life. I'm alive. Bye. Cherish your life. Hey, future. It's us, the past. It's Thursday. And uh, I made it. It's the daytime. I got uh, K Town and Ghost. Sometimes we're ghosts. I'm kind of a ghost. Uh, life. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, future, it's us in the past. It's you. Hey, Daryl. Always remember to drink lots of water. Yeah. It's healthy. You'll get a haircut. It's Friday. Cut your hair off. 28th. Bye. Get a haircut on Friday. Um, today's Tuesday. How much longer? Do you hey. Know? We'll find that out whenever the fucking real shit fucking hits the fan. Hey, future, it's us in the past. What do you have to say to the future? Hmm? Hmm? Fucking, I don't know. Um, watch out. Watch your back. Okay. Bye, bye future. My bye. Yeah. You trust the past. We're... Uh, I'm on the phone. This is Freddy. I'm on the phone. Got some boxes. It's almost uh, the last day of uh, this month, September. Oh, yeah. Me and Andrew were talking about how many beers it would take to kill you. How many? Oh yeah, we were talking about whether electric. How many beers would it take to kill you? Actually means you're dead, and whether are you dead? If you're oh. incapacitated, did hey. you die? Hey, died. Bye, future. The intern. Oh. Okay. Hey, future, it's us. The past. I passed. Hey, future. Remember when you're uh, passing someone on a bike and they're wearing bike shorts? Be sure to tell them. Nice ass. <laughs> right, yeah. Time. Um. Yeah. Hey, future. It's us. The past. Hey, future. How many days in the future are you? We're probably like five hundred days in the past. Five hundred days. It's Tuesday. It's October. Okay. Bye, future. Bye. <clears throat> oh. Hey, it's Bella. Intern. Oh, hi, Bella. Um, it's me, hanging up Shay. I forgot how long the message machine message is. Uh, press one to skip it. Maybe we should re-record that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, call me back. <laughs> no. I'm just hanging out with Craigslist. Bye. All right, here it goes, Bell. We're going to call you back. Maybe. Where's the 520 area code? Do you have a pen? You see a pen? I need a pen. Should be one in here somewhere. A pen. A pen. Can I go to bed? Yeah, just lie down where you are. You can just sleep. Aren't you sleeping? Department of Imagination. Oh, I'm writing a number. All right, here we go. Calling uh, Bella. Doesn't know, it still doesn't know where you are, Bella. Like the phone system. Our call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, two, zero, seven. Two, six, is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages. The mailbox is full. That seems about right. Oh, that was the right number. Here, next we'll call. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hey, Bella. How Bella. are How are you? You know, you can skip. Okay. You can skip the message by pressing one. You can? Yeah. Oh, God, that was so long. I, I, I haven't listened to it in a long time, but yeah, I, I think I say that you can skip the message by pressing one in the message. You, you trail off. Oh, really? I haven't heard it in a long time. <laughs> Maybe, in, like... Do you, like, do you, do you, like mm -hmm. start saying and then Freddy cuts you off in the middle of it? Really? Oh, no. Um, It's probably been the same one for years and years, and it's a bad one. I didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like you saying it's a program, and then you and Freddie talking about re-recording it for like 10 seconds afterwards. Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if there's any way to hear it. Um, Like, you can't hear your own voicemail message. I can't. No, like, one, one can't. Oh no, unfortunately. Like how do you it's cool, yeah. though. How do you call yourself? Yeah. You gotta call somebody, I gotta call the program from another phone now. Oh you do? Well to no to hear you the call yourself? I gotta call it from another phone so then I can hear the message and then and then try to imagine what it's oh. like to be a caller. Oh <laughs> uh, You got a there's a band, you got a band? Yeah, I have a band. My roommates are playing. Is your roommate's band? Yeah. Two of my roommates and my neighbor. So, yeah. Do you hear them They're practice? Friday. Hmm? You hear them practice? Yeah. What's the band? Oh, Lisp. Lisp. <laughs> you know, when lisp. you when you have a Lisp, you can't say Do Lisp. I? You know, if you have a Lisp, Oh, and then that you can't yeah, say yeah. lisp. The yeah, word. That's a very unfortunate word. So then you say like I have a lisp. Lisp. 
You can't do it. Yeah, what? it's very, it's very unfortunate. I guess you never have to tell anybody that you have it though. What? You can't. You don't have to tell anybody that you have one. No. Because oh, yeah, no. you can hear it. <laughs> Probably. Like, why would, Probably. Is it, has anybody ever said that? They're like, you know, I have a lisp, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. No, a lot of people have told me that. Oh, they've told you. They told you that you have one, but you didn't notice. No, people have told me that they have a list. But why would they have to but, tell uh, you? I don't know. I feel conscious about it. But why would but, they uh, ever say it? Can't you just hear it? I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no clue. Uh, also, they're gonna have a special guest, I guess. Oh. Um, yeah. What well, surprise? Very what? Surprise. It's a surprise guest? Surprise guest. Yeah. Whoa. Um. Friend of the band. Just got back in town from tour. Mm hmm. So. He'll be a surprise. Nice crowd to the viewers. Surprise viewers, alright. That's good. Uh, that's this mm -hmm. Friday. That's today's Tuesday. It's in a few days. Yeah. I don't think I can go, though. I mm. have to work. Mm. Well. Yeah. You got a new phone number? Oh, what? No, I just don't have any phone number saved anymore. Mm, I guess we don't have your number saved either because yeah, I had to uh, type it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so something I need, uh, I need to save, I guess. Do they have a uh, TV at your work? No. Mm. I've got Starbucks. Oh, you're making, uh, Car caramel macchiatos? Yeah, unfortunately. Lots of them. They still got... Too many. Too many caramel macchiatos? That's like, uh... Do they still got those, uh, like, unicorn drinks? Remember those things? No. Unfortunately. There's no more unicorn drinks. Apparently they're disgusting. Well, they're real popular. Mm-hmm. For, like, two days. Oh, yeah. People like, uh, sugar. Yeah. Mostly sugar. No, it's, it's all sugar. It's like milkshakes. Mm-hmm. That's what frappuccinos are. I think those things are more milkshakes than coffee. Mm-hmm. You drink coffee yeah, a lot? Yeah, milkshakes but weird coffee. Yeah. Alright. Well, we'll yeah. oh, we're not going to see you on Friday? Um... Probably not, unless I get some cover my shift. Mm, does the band, uh, know what to do? Yeah, um, the drummer's been on the show before. Should the band um, call? Should we talk to the band on the program? Because if you're not going to be there, then uh -huh. who's going to talk to the band? Somebody's got to talk to the band. I have no idea. I, I'll try to find someone to cover my shift. Be nice to have a Friday night off. Yeah, or right, you can try, and if if not, we're starting the band. Or it starts at six o'clock live. Oh, it's live again. Yeah, we're going back to being live at six o'clock. Ooh. So. Okay, I'll try to make it. I'll see what I can do. The band, but the band has to be there and ready by six. So be get there before six. When I get home, I'll tell them. But. Okay. I'll tell the band. I'll tell them that they need to be ready by 5.45. Well, get there early. Just to be there to be ready. Yeah, be ready by 5.45. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. And uh, maybe tell them to call. Right now? Uh, Sure, or whenever. Okay, I'll, try, I'll tell them to call tomorrow. They have like three days. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll have them call tomorrow. All right, thank you. For sure. Yeah, of course. All right, we'll talk to you later. I am the... Oh, you're okay, the intern. <laughs> I want to get off the phone real bad, huh? You snoring? You snoring? Uh, we're getting down to only about six minutes left. I want to look at... Oh, we did get a couple more messages, but I think it's too late to call them back. we got Dan Dobler and Yellowfellow left messages. We'll listen to them, but I don't think we're going to call them back, so I think it's too late. Well, we could try to call Freddy, though, probably, the producer, before the show's over. I know it's late, but maybe Fred will answer anyway. I'm calling the, um...
calling the his cell phone now instead of his, the Google Voice one that he had before. I think it's gonna do the voice, the the robot message instead of the hey, read Freddy Dobot can't come on the phone right now. Be leave me next message. Get back to you another ten. Thanks a lot. Yeah. For that was the Google one, the, the the other one. <laughs> hey, Freddy, it's the program. You can call us back. It's nighttime. You only have about five minutes left today, so you can call us back. Uh, we talked to Bella, and the band is gonna be there on Friday. Uh, goodbye. We got a couple of messages to listen to, and then we'll look at maybe some of those messages from the past. Huh? Talking to your mic. I can't hear you. What? Oh, I didn't see anything. You, you said something. I said, mm -hmm. Yeah? What time is it? Uh, three. It's three o'clock at night. What are we, what are we doing here? Talking, yeah. recording a TV show. Yeah. This is the new late 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 show. You're on TV. Hmm. Hi. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Dr. Kenny. Hi, Dan. Hey, this is Dan. Hi, Dan. I'm a doctor. Yeah. I am in a place and, 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 and it's warm and, uh -huh. and it's warm and and and, and, and everything. And, and Good. You're in a warm place. I, I'm comfortable. I, Good. I, I live outside and it's so cold. Oh yeah. It's so cold. It's hot. It, it, it's so cold and, and, and rainy. I, I I had to come back. I, I had to come back inside. I had to come back inside and, and, and uh, uh huh. I I I I I I wonder where Maryland where Maryland is. You still haven't uh, found Maryland? Uh, uh, it's too bad she she took off like that. Yeah. Maryland's she going back, but it's too late to call you back, Dan. I'm thinking you're gonna be asleep, so. We're gonna take a couple of messages. We're gonna look at these messages. I'm trying to get through these tapes uh, to catch up, and then we'll be back. I haven't even been looking at 2006 or seven, uh, 16 or 17 recently, but we can catch up on those too. What's that guy's name? The rapist. Havana. I know the story. Yeah, you know the story now. How come you? Where's your mic? Everything's fake about it. What? So it's a fake story. What, Kavanaugh is not a rapist? So whenever the woman was in college, yeah. she was friends with him, and they went to the same college. Mm -hmm. And one night, they got both really drunk. Yeah. And so they're both old now. They're like 60-something, right? Yeah. And so she's saying that she, when she was like 20 years old, that they were both drinking. They were both drunk, and that apparently he like pulled his pants down and tried to shove his dick in her face. Uh-huh. And uh, that's what's up. That's it? Isn't that a crazy story? It's all fucking fake. That's why, why are they going back to when they were like 20 years old? Yeah. You know, it's stupid. That doesn't seem, I mean, that's that's kind of bad. Mm-hmm. Was, was he trying to, was he just like, was he just like woo! You know, I don't know if you think anything really happened. Yeah. That's, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy. Who knows? You know, it's like when someone gets famous or something, they try to get something, then you go all the way through like their past and yeah. try to make them look bad. The people like to point fingers at each other, you know. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I think. Thought I'd share that. There, it's all it. it's all stupid. Yeah. On you know, both sides. Mhm. Mm uh, that's that's all I gotta say. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Who is this other person? That per is the person, the woman that doesn't like him. Who who is that? Yeah, it's just some random woman that like once he got into the position, mm -hmm. and they were gonna elect him. She like spoke up. She was like, you shouldn't get elected because when I was 20 years old, he tried to shove his dick in my face. Huh. You know? 
It's kind of goofy. Huh. Look at this. In the hospital. Bye. Bye. Oh, show's over. Hey. It's time to go to sleep. Sleeping. You've been sleeping. I'm awake now. When's the show gonna start? I just. Thanks for watching. It's Tuesday. We're on uh, TCTV channel 22, 11.30 and 2am. Check it out. What yeah, 360-836 or 384. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. 109 State Avenue, number three. It's her address. Find us. Fun singer. It's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, Soft Spot, Con, Drum, Wolf, Jethro, and County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, and viewers that you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye.